of our Apocalypse World playthrough here on Digital Dungeons, sponsored by Mammoth Games, Inc. Um, yeah, so the last episode, I definitely recommend you go dig that up if you haven't seen it already. Um, basically, we, we uh, established all of our characters, um, kind of set up a, a little town and a little section of world that they're going to be hanging out in. Um, you know, figured out some uh, equipment, some, some starting, um, you know, what everybody has to barter and everything. Characters are all set up. And uh, just a little bit of story that I'll be able to mess with, uh, hopefully, you know, possibly in this first episode, possibly as we move on a little bit. Um, uh, okay, so we have uh, Kyle's going to be playing uh, Driver. His name is Macbeth. Um, basically, he's uh, kind of like a, the leader, the not the leader, the uh, father of the group. Take care of everybody. Um, you know, he's he's got his own morality that he tries to stick to. Um, and, you know, he's he's kind of in the mood to head south, but uh, we'll see if I can't kind of trap him in town for a little bit. Um, Ashley is playing a battle babe named Alvara. Um, mm -hmm. She is, uh, you know, she, she's kind of like a, a Venus flytrap. It seems like you want to kind of move in and see what's going on, but you'll realize pretty quickly that that's not such a great idea when the trap snaps shut. Um and uh, she's she's basically uh, trying to find her path, um, you know, just exploring the world, seeing what kind of shenanigans she can get into. Uh, Jay is playing a faceless named currently named Ribbone. Um, he he has this mask that kind of uh, dictates his personality, and you know, kind of leads him to do certain things that you know uh, he might not have thought of it a moment before the mask decides that's what he's going to do. Um, Basically, he is, uh, you know, adapting to a new situation and just kind of following, uh, you know, the guidance of this mask or the guidance of the, the maelstrom that is hidden underneath the world. And Shannon is playing a child thing uh, named Scab. Uh, they are kind of just trying to figure out the world that they're in and find their own place in it. Uh, it does have, uh, they do have a, a den with some undisclosed number of, siblings uh and kind of chased by these agents of the maelstrom that think that the child thing should not exist in this world um specifically we're in a small uh, uh small location called dust bowl uh it's kind of up on the bottom of like a small cliff in the mountains um th there was probably some kind of old settlement there a long time ago before the apocalypse, but uh, the only thing that's left of that is some old stone foundations that a couple of the buildings are built up on. Um, you know, it's at the it's at the base of a you know part of a mountain range, and uh, it's, it's got about seventy six people in the town, which is kind of medium sized for uh, apocalypse world game. And um, yeah, I guess we we have some characters that we're probably going to run into that we named in the last session. That was that was really fun, I think. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. And uh, let me see if this pushes this up to your guys's uh, to your guys's screen. Do, do you see the public notice here? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. So I'll go ahead and just read that off. Um, basically, anybody that's in town, um, you wake up one morning to find this kind of posted to the uh, your the outside of your door or um, you know, if you're in a, I guess I didn't ask where everybody's sleeping, so that might be a good place to start right after I do this. But uh, wherever you are, basically, there's one of these posted nearby. And if you're outside of town right now, then there's one basically on the on the entry, all the main entries in the town and on the front door of pretty much every building in town. Yeah. Uh, to all citizens and guests of the town of Dust Bowl, a contagious disease have been has been found near the tap house. It is advised that all people stay away from the area until the disease is dealt with. All right. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, where where did everybody <coughs> spend last night? Well, I'm getting short on money, so I just slept in my jeep. And uh, yeah, the, your jeep should be all yeah, fixed up now too. So uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's good to go. Um, okay, go ahead. I was uh -huh. out scavenging, so I just burrowed a hole in the ground and slept there. Disgusting. <laughs> Pretty much wherever I fell, I was just wandering around and <clears throat> looking for a okay, yeah, food think, slash whatever. Yeah, I think Ribbone kind of wakes up and uh, not really in like a pig pen. I don't think they have any like 
they don't have any open air pigs like hanging out in this town. But certainly, like if there were pigs, this would be a pig pen. I, I and, really uh, the character like, he's a paper stuck on his face. Yeah. <laughs> it's his mask for the day. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, I really feel like the character uh, he just like wherever he happens to like oddly enough just black out. Mm-hmm. When he wakes up, he has no recollection of the day before. Well, that's interesting. Just... Now, yeah. does he? Uh, does he just black out because like, okay, it's like it's sleeping time now. I'm asleep. Yeah, I feel he just, like he just kind of fade out, and then he's like something happens, and he just wakes up somewhere. Like I feel like he's kind of like uh, like one of the bandits from Borderlands, mm-hmm. where like, and, and it has I guess doesn't really answer the question for like where he sleeps, but just his kind of like mentality of um like the character like uh Craig from Borderlands, he's like he he's like, say something cool, say something cool. I'll rip your face off Damn it, that wasn't cool. <laughs> like That's fine. I I just feel like he's kind of like that character. He just he, he can't uh-huh. put things together properly. But uh yeah, I, sleeping sleeping wise, he yeah just kind of like blacks out, and it's it, it's kind of wherever it, it, it I, the mystery. I don't know. Maybe it'll unfold as we play, but mm-hmm. um, I mean, it could have something to do with the mask. The mask is like, well, time to yeah. stop, and it just yeah, I, drops. I feel him. like he's uh, I feel like he's kind of like a parakeet. Like you just put a blanket over his head, and it's like, well, it's nighttime. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, and Ashley. Um, just under a tree when I was out wandering around searching all the new area last night. Okay, so like, uh, are you outside of town or are you in like kind of like an abandoned corner of the town? Yeah, just the off the edge of town. Okay. Just right on the outside edge of town. All right. Um, okay, so um, I guess we'll jump to uh, probably Ribbone uh, since I guess you're the only one that's really in the heart of town. Um, do you see? Do you see anybody out? And like, I guess, what time is it? Um, I I would say the the sun has has crest the mm-hmm. shitty little shack that's kind of adjacent to me. So, you know, it's probably about like ten or eleven in the okay. morning, and uh, there's a few people out and about, uh, a few people gawking, of course, but. Mm-hmm. That's nothing new. Yeah, of those gawkers, uh, there's like two people just like kind of like looking over, like, uh, "What's what's going on with that guy over there?" And one guy kind of comes up to him and is like, "Okay, uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna want to move along. Uh, I I definitely saw that guy last night, and we do not want to be around when he's up." <laughs> uh, so they there's kind of like you said, good there's a couple people just kind of checking you out, but uh, they're just kind of rubbernecking. They're they're moving along pretty quick. Um. Okay, I think. Uh, there's uh from wherever everyone is um from kind of the uh the 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 wall of the town the uh the kind of like cliff face is uh due south so the south end of town is kind of where a lot of stuff's going on and it's also where the town like very abruptly ends into this like kind of sheer rock so um on kind of like the north uh west corner of town uh so a little bit further out is where um both Macbeth is in his car, and also Alvara, um, just kind of over, you know, in a, in a comfortable spot in the woods. And then also Scab uh, is kind of just straight north toward uh, the big forest, uh, you know, straight north of town. Um, so kind of in the uh, a northwest portion of town, uh, which after reading this, uh, you know, public notice, uh, many of you remember that this corner of town is where the... Uh, the only bar is um you kind of hear somebody yelling and like uh it's not quite like a scream of fear but it's it's like a very raised voice of somebody that's on the edge of panicking so does anybody want to head toward that i I have a question first you said the rock wall kind of covers the the south does that kind of come up the east and the west as well or um it's pretty much like a flat wall in the south so on the east and west they're pretty well defended because there's like a thick collection of buildings and i think that's where some of these old ruins are um so like the better buildings were built on the ruins of, the, of these you know pre-war buildings mm-hmm. um and then like 
like I said, as as you kind of move north, the town kind of thins out, and then the further north you go, the more it just eventually just turns into forest. Okay. Well, I'm concerned about there being disease within the town just because I'm so close. Mm-hmm. And I'm worried about my fellow child things. Mm-hmm. If I could move towards the tap house, or where the yelling's coming from. Okay. Um... Anybody else? Um, I could I, say that um, the scream woke me up, mm-hmm. and I haven't really heard people being loud like that, so I might as well investigate. Yeah, I think unless um, unless some of the uh, Jackson boys are kind of doing something in one specific area in town, usually they're pretty quiet. Oh, um, okay. No relation. No relation. Um, yeah, I'm just checking the uh, some of the basic moves really quick. So, um, if anybody I'm... does want to try to read the situation, that'd be a shark check. Yeah, that's not me. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I think I'm sharp. I got sharpness. Um. Okay. Uh, so yeah, in your character sheet, you should be able to roll. Uh, everybody has something highlighted, right? Um, yes. Yeah. Did I roll? Yes. Did you? It, it, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it brings up like a little, like a little box. Yeah. Let me check a setting really quick. Okay. I succeed. Oh yeah, go into uh, settings, a little gear icon on the top right, and enable the three D dice. And just then makes automatically it automatically roll 3D dice as well. And automatically roll. Yeah, the two 3D options. Kind okay, of in so the that'll give a little something to look at on the screen there. Right. Okay. Um, all right. So, Scab, um, basically, you can ask um, you can ask a question about uh, what you think's going on, and I'll, I'll answer it truthfully, and, yeah, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens with Macbeth next. But you go ahead and ask. How many people are there screaming? Um, at, you hear one raised voice, but you know for sure that they're talking to at least one other person, and that second person is kind of trying to, to, you know, keep them under control. And uh, Macbeth, you can ask a, a different. I guess you know that um, you can you can hear that as well. But you ask another question, and I'll give you something that's kind of half true, or uh, something sort of unrelated, but it'll be somewhat helpful. Okay. Um... Was it a was it a man's voice or a woman? Um, the uh, the raised voice you can tell is a man's voice. The lower voice that's trying to calm them down you can't tell. Okay. Okay. Um, so I guess that uh, um, is Ribbone going to head toward this without even asking any questions? Uh, yes, yeah, just stumbling. I guess it'll just stumble <laughs> his like, sleepiness, like theory. yeah. And uh, Alvara? Yeah, I'm gonna head to. I'm going to head towards it with caution, but definitely head towards it to see what's going on. Okay, so I think you'll be the last one to kind of show up in this little area, but you are kind of rounding around the corner, so you hear what everybody else hears as well. Uh, as you guys get there, you see, um, you, you hear a door kind of not slam, but the opposite. It, it smacks open, uh, so it you know it's been open and it smacks against the outside wall, uh-huh. and. Um, a man kind of comes barreling out of the house and he turns around and says, uh, you know, he's again, he's, he's kind of yelling, but he's, he's not quite lost it yet, but he's kind of on his way. And he says, uh, Oh, great. Oh, great. Great. Red eye. And, uh, does anybody, um, does anybody want to try to roll anything on that? I suspect this might be connected to the disease. Mm-hmm. And I'm guessing you could roll sharp again to try to read that person. And that might give you a idea just the way, like I said, he's not fully panicking yet. So, okay. uh, um, yeah, go ahead, and, go ahead and roll that. There we go. That's nice. Okay. Um, yeah. So you, um, as you kind of look at this guy, he's, he just seems uh, kind of defeated. He doesn't really seem, like I said, he's not panicked. 
He's not aggressive. He's not like sprinting out of this house. He's just kind of like, um, he's he's defeated and he's kind of leaving the house, uh, almost like, you know, he just lost the fight, basically. Okay, wait. You said he he doesn't have the red eyes, does he? Well, his eyes look fine from what you guys. Okay. Um. Okay, so uh, he is kind of heading towards. Uh, I think he's heading towards you, Macbeth. Um. So what are, what are you gonna do? He's he's just kind of walking towards you. You could talk to him if you want to. You could just get out of his way if you think he's contagious. Uh, it's up to you. I'll. I'll keep a bit of a distance back, but when I notice he's coming towards me, I ask him, what's wrong, man? Okay. Um, he's got kind of like, he just kind of, you know, puts a hand on top of his head and kind of pushes his hair back a little bit. And he goes, um, uh, oh, you heard me, didn't you? I was about positive the whole town heard you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's kind of like, oh, geez. And he goes, uh, well, um, I mean, you saw the notice, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's contagious, but it's really not, uh, you know, it's not as bad as it looks. And, uh, <laughs> behind him, the door is kind of like most of the way it's been kind of just slowly closing by the force of gravity. And, uh, a woman pushes the door open and it looks like it's probably his wife. And, and, uh, the whites of her eyes are not white. They're just blood red. Huh. And uh, otherwise, she doesn't. I mean, you know, it looks like her eyes are working. She's not like spraying blood out of her or anything. You know, she she seems normal other than that. She comes out and like, just like very uh, you know how a mom will like really quietly be like, get over here. She does one of those <laughs> to her husband. She's like, come back, get back in the house. And uh, the guy kind of he like looks back over his shoulder and he just kind of sits there. Uh, kind of thinking about it and then he looks at Macbeth again and he says uh, he says do you think I'm infected already? Uh, well I have no idea if this type of disease is, can be spread just through proximity so and he looks around to everybody else and I think uh, I think Alvaro is like fully just like part of the onlookers now and there's a few other people other than you guys that have kind of been affected <clears throat> by you know the sound and uh there's a couple people in the cross a uh, couple couple people in the you know this crossing in front of the the house that are kind of like people are like looking around and they see the lady and they see your eyes and they're they're just kind of like ooh, that's that's not looking good but they're I, not I, like sprinting away or anything i i want to say just like so everyone knows, point to Macbeth and be like, this is the face of non-infection. And then point to my face, this is the face of kind of infection. <laughs> like, he's like, he kind of mentioned kind like, okay, it's not so bad, it's only a little infection. This is the face of a little infection. And the guy's like, kind of looks at the, looks at your mask and he's like, uh... <laughs> Ooh, about that. He's like, are your eyes visible? Like clearly visible under the mask. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're. I mean, it's pretty dark. But if you, you know, in the it's right just light, kind of like cut around them. Okay. Yeah. Um. He goes. He goes. Uh. Do Do any of you know anything about this? And about uh, if somebody disease? wants to, I, I don't even know what I did yesterday. Like, <laughs> fair point. I love his enthusiasm, though. Uh, yeah, so this guy, he kind of, like, turns back around, and he's he goes back over to his wife, and he's like, uh, yeah, it'll be okay. I think, uh, I think if I could catch it just by being nearby, I'd have it already, so let's, let's just go back in the house and see what we can do about this. And they, they go back in, and the door kind of, you know, closes gently behind them, and uh, a couple people in town start kind of muttering to each other. So, uh, if somebody wants to go up and knock on their door and ask them. You can do that. Uh, talk to a couple of the people, talking to each other, see what you can find out. I'm just glad someone made a scene that wasn't me. You know? Can I, can I talk to people in the crowd to see if that's the tap? The tap mm -hmm. house? Um, go ahead and roll... Um, I feel like uh, you would know that, though. If you had well, yeah, this, this house isn't... It's not the tap house, but it's pretty close, and they, they, were, they were probably there pretty recently. Uh, most people in this town are, were at the tap house very recently. <laughs> Oh, the tap house is the bar? Yeah. Okay, so it makes sense. I was, I was thinking not, of, like, water or something. Yeah, that's not its official, uh... Right. 
it's not its official title. It's just um, yeah, just what they refer to it as. I don't think it has a name. If I've been in town for a while, I would have known that. Right, right. As a character, it should have a fancy name. Uh, but you can try to somebody can roll sharp to try to read, um, you know, the people standing nearby to see if you know. Basically, uh, whatever you roll, that will allow you to ask a certain number of questions, and they may or may not answer. So, oh, buoy. <laughs> <laughs> so that means uh, so. Um, basically, when you roll, I think it's below a, a seven. Uh, you get a tough choice. Nice. <laughs> so you walk up to the to the people. Good start. And, uh, your choice is either the uh, people are going to be afraid of you and like dash away, or um, like because of who you are, or they're going to be afraid of you because they think you're infected. And in fact, you did make a joke about being slightly infected. <laughs> um, so so which do you want them to be just be afraid of you because of who you are, or do you want them to be afraid because they think you're infected? Probably for who I am. I mean, they really can't see my eyes that well. Okay. So. Um, yeah. As you walk up, uh, so it's uh, it's two guys that are talking, and uh, the one is kind of facing away from you, and the one that's facing towards you kind of glances over his buddy's shoulder and sees you approaching, looks back at his buddy, double takes, and like his pupils dilate, and he goes, "Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go, buddy." <laughs> and he grabs the dude, and they both just like sprint away. And as they're spraying away, a nickel, you, know? you hear <laughs> the crunch of a boot just kind of like stepping on some gravel. Mm. And mm -hmm. around the corner turns two guards. And uh, one of those guards, you may remember, his name's mm. Phil. Oh, and yeah. He's got a grudge. He's... Phil and I, you know? Uh -huh. It's just <laughs> a constant back and forth. All so right. Kind of, okay, can I, kind of, go ahead. Can I read the situation and see how poorly it worked out for Ribbone? So I'm like, I'm gonna change my form. <laughs> yeah, roll. Um. Uh, I would we say should... yeah, roll for to read the situation. If you fail, they're gonna see you transform. <laughs> oh, buddy. Shit. Oh. So what what form were you before, and what form do you take? It was like a bald, naked child thing. Uh-huh, it's disturbing. <laughs> that much. Okay. Is no, it like I'm a Ken doll? Does it just flat? <laughs> yeah. No nipples? No nipples. <laughs> Jesus, God. Very yeah, alien. Like no buddy button, but no belly button. Okay. Okay. Classy. Okay. And then what form are you taking? A young, unassuming, innocent-looking child. Okay, that's a bad call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it dressed? Yes. Okay, so you're just molding clothes out of your own body. Um, okay, male yes. child, female child. Female. Okay, so um, the one uh, Phil just locks eyes straight on uh, Ribbone right away, and he's like, okay. "Oh, this guy." He puts his hand out onto the chest of the other guy, and uh, the other guard just happens to like he's not really looking at anybody in particular. He sees this like what appears to be like a vampire alien <laughs> and it transforms into just like a totally normal little girl. And he's like, Oh my God. And he, uh, I think he's holding like a, uh, kind of like a old, um, like four shot rifle. Uh, it's kind of long two handed for sure. And he drops it on the ground and it doesn't go off. It's too old for that. But, uh, he like quickly scrambles to pick it back up and Phil goes, he's, he, uh, Looks to Ribbone, and the other guy, like, grabs his arm and points at the child thing. And he's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and, uh, Phil is, um... That's Phil my face, goes, sir. And I don't appreciate you coming at me like that. And, uh, Phil goes, what, what's going on here? What's going on? What are you guys doing? Uh, somebody might want to, um, just so you know, you can, uh, try to manipulate somebody by rolling hot. Um, that's probably the only thing you can do. Can I just act like, <laughs> be like manipulative to be like, what? I'm just a poor little orphan girl. Why are you pointing a gun at me? Jesus. Oh, can that's I, cool. Can I roll hot? Yeah, roll hot. But it's Actually. not highlighted. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um, I guess, uh, how do you, um, 
you know, this is seduce, manipulate, uh, you know, sidetrack, um, distract. So how do you want to distract? I mean, it's going to be, you're going to have to come up with something here because these guys have seen a lot of shit just now. Um, I mean, my first thought is make sure they don't see anything else. (laughs) Jesus. Uh, Oh, also, um, Alvara. Chainsaw is not for looks. Mark one point of experience for uh, rolling your highlighted skill, which will be on your character sheet. Um, yeah, experience. Okay, you got it. Under improvements? Yep. Okay. Um, um, can, I, can I use my class move? Uh, what's that? What do you have? Um, it's, it's for a hot, it's dangerous and sexy. Mm-hmm. Let me look. I'm, I'm moving to it right now. Um... Okay, so you'll just roll plus hot again. Roll plus hot, yeah, on a ten plus hold. Okay, go ahead and roll that again because I think um, your distraction is gonna basically be giving everybody else a chance to get ready because, uh, like I said, I don't I don't think you can just be like, oh hey guys, uh, hmm, let's go get drunk. Not I don't want to get a disease. Ha. <laughs> like I don't think that's gonna work after what these guys have just noticed. No. So, um, well, I mean, she could kind of try to trick them into, like, what are you talking about? I was looking at her the whole time and nothing weird happened. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think basically you're just able to, with that 12, I think you're going to just diffuse the situation enough that they aren't going to start anything yet, but they are very... On edge. Uh, unhappy, <laughs> yes. Um, right. So, yeah, go ahead and roll the Dangerous and Sexy. Um, okay. Um... We'll just count it as we'll count it as that twelve. So basically, uh, you were able to do the two hold that you got. You'll use one each to make eye contact and freeze or flinch both of them, um, giving everybody else a chance to kind of quickly strategize. Um, I think Ribbone's about to clock a dude. I'm getting there. Um, so yeah, you guys could. I want to uh, throw a stone at someone. Rock fight! <laughs> um, that, I, I wouldn't start it. Food fight. <laughs> yes. Just start slinging mud at him. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely rocks laying around. Okay. Um, I don't think you could get a rock. Yeah, but I have a thrown stone. Oh, yeah, you have your own particular stone that you like to throw, don't you? Yes. Um, let me look at that really quick. Is it shiny? Not that I haven't eaten it yet. Uh, <laughs> good point. Or you might have already eaten it a couple times. Or maybe it was a lot bigger at one point, and now it's yeah. whittled down. Oh. Do we start with all of our gear and weapons that we made? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And actually, I was going to ask you guys, how do you, um, you know, like, how do you spend your barter to, like, start your day? But everybody was literally just sleeping in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it's not an issue. Um, how does the throne stone work? Do you have, uh, um, do you have that open somewhere? No. Okay. All I have is a throne stone and a spear. Everybody make sure you have uh, your Apocalypse World sheet open in the background. Yep, I'm actually going to open that menu. Yeah. I need tab so everyone can see it. I'm going there now. Oh my god. Things I should have prepared sooner. Whoops. I had mine open. <laughs> oh, well, you get an A+, plus, mister. <laughs> okay. Let me scroll around here. How's that? Okay, two harm. Hand. And, uh... It's not. It's a thrown rock. You would think it'd be longer than hand distance. Uh, Is it not meant for thrown? Maybe, maybe it's just... it was a stone that has been thrown at you. Oh. That's kind of. I don't know. I'm, I'm. I'm looking for some descriptors here in the book. Yeah, maybe it's just so for. S- make sure to send on. us a bunch of hate mail to complain about us not instantly knowing this. Oh my god. Uh, this yeah, is what prototype notes are for. 
they're they're uh, like their player guide is it, it's laid out really weird. Yes. <laughs> it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is a thrown stone, not a throwing stone. So it's a stone that somebody threw at you that you now use to clock people with. So you're not within uh, you're not within range for that certainly. So it is it, like you just kind of hold it and like smack someone in the side of the head with it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Cool. Classic rock caveman style. That's okay. unhelpful. Yes. Um. This is really weird. How they're where did you find that at? Is it on the sheet, or did you look it up elsewhere? Yeah, it's under the child thing, the the throne stone. Two harm hand, but there's also a boomerang that is I, at hand range. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's not right then. Um. And so is the spear. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't like that. Maybe it's because I'm too weak to throw things. That's rude. I I, I don't it's think. Really I don't see anything on here pointing toward like like thrown. Yeah, range. That, like like that they've defined something to be thrown. Yeah. Um. It it even says the guns are close. Yeah, that's like within distance to be able to have a shouted conversation. So that makes sense. Okay. Um, far is. So I mean, uh, I guess it... the whites in their eyes, they're too close. Can we just make the rock a throwing rock? Yeah, I'm gonna say if it's yeah, I mean hand range, I'm gonna say take a minus one, and you can uh, throw it. I mean, like just roll it, and then we'll subtract one from it to see if it, you know, how it goes from there. Okay. Um. So, oh boy, are you sure you want to start a fight here? I'm not sure. (laughs) It's very early for that. I want to start a fight. I'm throwing it at that guy who saw me. Okay. He saw too much. Aim him for the head. So go ahead and uh, (laughs) go ahead and roll. Um. I guess you're basically suckering someone, so um, roll hard and take a minus one on it. So we'll just whatever it rolls out as, we'll take a minus one. Uh uh-uh, buddy. Oh. Shit. So you just like a lava rock at this dude's head and it just flies <laughs> over and like hits a like a building behind him. And uh he is no longer distracted. But there is still time. I think uh Ribbone's probably the closest one to them. Uh-huh. And uh Macbeth's the next closest. Hmm. I'm gonna make a reckless decision, so yep. I feel like this is a Something if that should, uh, mm-hmm. if there is anything else he can do. That's not me just jamming a chainsaw into a guy's face. Oh my god. Please? Yeah, so far I, I don't, I think at this start I don't really know these other people yet. You could, um, you know, you could yell and, uh, uh plus hot and just yell and be <clears> like, whoa, 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 we're not trying to start a fight here. Yeah, because so far, all that's really happened is a young kid has thrown a rock at someone. After transforming. Well, well yeah, but like... <laughs> and a group of two people were sprinting away from a giant dude with a leather mask on. Well, I might be just as taken back by the as the guard was, because I, I don't really know who this thing is that just changed into a little girl. That's true. Yeah, that's um, true. What's, your, uh, what's your lowest uh, history score, Macbeth? Um... Trying to find where those are. Okay, it's Alvara plus one. Oh, that's your lowest. Yeah. That's really weird. That's the only one you actually know. It says. Well, technically, me two. too. Scab plus three. So actually, I guess I do have most history with scab. Yeah. Well, what was that history though? Do you remember? I wish I would have wrote that down. Let's see. Uh, which one got me out of serious shit? That was Alvara. Yeah. That was history plus one. That's funny. Which one of you has been with me for days on the road? That was a uh, uh, mask. I I can't remember your name for some reason. Ribbone. 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 Okay. Yeah, you were driving around with me. I remember that. Right. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then which one I caught staring at the horizon was. Oh that. yeah. So I just know you stare at the horizon. Okay. All right. That's so weird yeah, that that's the most, though. That one gives you plus 30. Yeah. And that 
getting out of like serious shit doesn't give you plus three. I feel like those numbers should be switched. They should, but um, yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, Executive maybe, decision. Um, yeah, I guess it's up to you. Like, do you? Um, it's like a so you've seen this child thing before. You know the other two a little bit, but uh, basically, like, I think the the uh, explanation of why that one's a plus three is like you just get a really good vibe. Yeah. From the yeah. child thing. Yep. Yeah, I think I want to decide. Um, I don't want to escalate the situation, so mm -hmm. I'm going to step in front of Scab between her and the guard. Okay, so roll uh hot, and we're going to give you a uh, we're going to give you a plus three for the history. Um. Okay. Yeah. So that's a full success. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, I think you um. Okay, you step in front of her, and what do you say? I talk to the guard, and I say, um, hey, man, we're all kind of freaked out right now. This disease might be messing with um how we perceive things, so you might have just your mind played tricks on you or something. That's the reason <laughs> to get freaked out. Okay, so the, uh, the guard that saw Scab transform is just, like, he's, like, I mean, he's having a hell of a day. <laughs> he's, like, he's very confused. And, uh, you know, he's, like, he's, like, kind of, like, blinking a lot, and he, like, rubs his eye a little bit and looks again. He's, like, uh, oh, man, I don't, I just don't know what's going on. And, uh, Phil says, uh, I think he calls Ribbone Big Boy. Oh, fuck, Phil. <laughs> That's why you hate him. <laughs> so, Phil goes, hey, you Big Boy, come here. All right. I'm interested. Okay. Okay, so you just go up to him, you don't offer any fighting or anything, and he just, he kind of, like, leans up, like, gets up in your face, but, I mean, aggressive, but not like he's about to do something, and he's looking into your eyes, and he goes, I don't see any pink, but boy, do you stink. No, he doesn't say that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He goes, he goes, I don't see any pink, so you better watch it, and you need to get out of here. Did you guys I want to tell him I love him. <laughs> You uh, see so your heart, your eyes turn into hearts, and you start leaning forward. Love you. He goes, get out of here. Get. Yeah. All right. So do we all leave? I would. <laughs> uh, do you guys um, do you guys have anywhere in particular to be? Um, it's possible, like uh, you guys could go down to the general store, which is probably the only place you can buy alcohol now. Uh, you could just walk into the tap house if you want to. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, are we, we curious? Go to the general store and ask yeah. the locals what's up. Because now I look pretty innocent, and I can just be like, "Hey, my my uh, mama done died from the red eye." This <laughs> 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 is a perfect distraction for me to steal alcohol. <laughs> oh God! Yes. Um. Okay, so uh, are you guys like kind of traveling together, or did you split into a group of the two weirdos and the two normies? <laughs> um, that would be funny because Ribbone, I have the lowest history with. Again, it's it's so weird how the history Ew. rolled out. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. Um. I'll. I. I figure I'll just go to the general store to see if I can find some alcohol or. Whatever. All right. Um, See what's going on. Is everybody heading to the store? Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, you guys kind of like. There's a little bit of distance in between each of you, but you you kind of make your way uh, down to you know a little bit heading more south into the main part of town. And um, I'm like sort of grumbling that McBuff intervened because I'm like I totally could have killed that guy. I could have killed that guy with that rock. <laughs> And uh, actually, as, as you guys it. are all away, nobody saw you run over to where those guards were, but you're holding the rock in your hand and kind of like smoothing it and like rubbing it around. <laughs> I'm taking um, care of my throne stone. Throne stone? Yep. And, uh, okay, so you guys all kind of make it, make your way down to Stinky Pete's general store. And, uh... Stinky Pete sounds like a guy that I'd be That's friends with. Uh, yeah, Stinky Pete, uh, when you guys walk in, it's kind of got, like, 
Um, you know, it's got double doors, but they're both just open because, I mean, this dude's about to be making a killing with the bar being closed. Mm-hmm. Where's this uh, located, kind of? Yeah, it's in, like, okay. the, uh, like, s- kind of south central. So it's it's um it's in the middle of like the bulky part of town. Okay. And uh which not quite it's not all the way south or anything, but it is it's more southerly than you were. Um it's pretty much straight due south from the tap house. Pretty big building. It's yeah, it's it's two stories. Uh it's got pretty high ceilings and he lives up above. And um like I said, it's 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 a lot wider than it is deep. Um two double doors leading into it. Not quite saloon doors, but you get the idea. Um, so yeah, as you go in, it's one of the, it's like the, probably the third or fourth biggest building in town. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's already like a small line of people and he's selling out these old, these little jugs of, uh, not quite moonshine, but pretty close since people are having to brew their own stuff out here. Um, and there's like five or six people ahead of you, uh, just up at the desk already. They're not shopping. They know exactly what they're here for. Um, and, uh, yeah, like I said, there's this group of people, there's Stinky Pete himself you could talk to if you wanted to. Um, is there, do do any of us have history with him? Like, uh, yeah, so Ribbone is, uh, gets along pretty well with Stinky Pete, Mm -hmm. as you might imagine. Um, they both smell similar. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think you have kind of, like, rustled up some stuff for him. Um, he doesn't ask where the things come from. That's smart. Okay. Yeah. He's not asking. He doesn't want to know. He's not dumb. Give him that. Uh, and then also, um, Alvaro's been in here a couple times, uh, just kind of, like, you know, asking, like, who around here would need something done? You know, who needs protection? Do you need protection? Just let me know what's up. I'm going to try to pop past this line, you know, just to... <laughs> Get in there and uh, just kind of saunter up to the counter. Yeah. And okay, hammer. roll. Uh, as long as you don't miss, it's going to be a success. Uh, so roll plus hot. <laughs> miss. No cutsies. Yeah. Okay, nailed it. All right. So you just kind of like, you like slowly like walk up and then lean up on the counter. And Stinky Pete right away goes, oh, uh, hold on, miss. And to a lady he's talking to and just kind of slides down the counter. He goes, hey, Ribby, my big buddy. All right, so uh, I, I guess I'll. Uh, I mean, I assume everyone else followed, correct? Did yes. everyone else? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, was there anything we were trying to trying to accomplish, or were we just getting drinks? Getting information. I was wondering if I could use one of my class moves, sniffing the air. Oh God. And then ask who here is keeping the because that would be the person to ask. Who here's... Um, oh, okay. Okay, is I... I the rest is one of the questions I can ask. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll introduce, uh... I'll introduce Scab to Stinky Pete and, uh, be like, yeah, we did some cool stuff, you know, here and there, which pretty much just means I helped her kill a guy once and she ate him. Jeez. And, uh... <laughs> and I'm just smiling. And I'll be Scary like, yeah. I'm rubbing my stone. Scary. Got it. Okay. Be like, yeah, you know, I've known her for for a little bit, and, you know, we're kind of just looking for some information slash drinks, and, uh, since the bar's closed down, so, uh, uh, what do you got? He goes, oh, I don't think I have any drinks left, and everybody is all kind of, like, they're like, ah, oh, shit, and, you know, people are, like, kind of wandering off, and then he kind of reaches under the counter and, like, arrays, like, three kind of half-empty bottles in front of you, and he goes, sorry, this is the best I can do for free right now. You old son of a bitch, you. All right. That'll work. But what do you got? What do you know? He thinks that Scab's not old enough to drink, because that's why it's three. So I just start chewing on the glass bottle. Oh, my God. <laughs> Breaking off that. a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, roll... Um, I can get uh, to Marthos. <laughs> yeah, roll sharp <laughs> to um, sniff the air. I cannot do anything. Um, sorry, I'm looking at it. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you'll just ask, um, since it's a partial, you'll just ask one of, that one question, who here is keeping secrets, right? Mm-hmm. 
Um, ask in general to everybody around? Well, no, she's she asks like if no, anybody specific. has something. To, yeah, it's not like the character's not asking. This is the player. Asking. So like technically, I'm just sniffing the air, and it's really disturbing looking. And I'll keep so, up with uh, small talk. Good idea to keep him distracted. Right. There you um, go. Okay, so like you know for sure that Stinky Pete is the one with the secrets, but. Uh, one of the people leaving, there's a there's a woman who was at the counter. She was one of the uh, disappointed people. Um, as she is kind of wandering out, she's like looking back over her shoulder a lot. And you don't, uh, I mean, like I said, Stinky Pete has more secrets probably than anybody in this town. But otherwise, um, you get a feeling that this woman might know something. I go after that woman. Take some of that alcohol. <laughs> yeah, Peace I offering. To get him. Information. All right, so you just kind of wander off. Uh, we'll stick with the uh, Stinky Pete crowd here, and then we'll come back to you. Does Does anybody notice? I guess uh, Ribbone knows that you're up to something. Does anybody else notice you go? Uh, yeah, I've been watching everything from a distance, and I notice she goes off to the woman. Okay. Yeah, I feel like most people are trying to keep an eye on me. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. you kind of have that "I'm gonna rob you" kind of vibe. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you stalk off after someone. Okay, so Scab kind of disappears out um, those double doors. Uh, I guess uh, Macbeth, did you want to like tailor to see what's up, or I? Yeah, I, I see that um, Ribbone's talking to his friend, and they seem like they're all right. So I'm deciding to follow Scab now. So okay. she doesn't transform again and create a scene. All right. Yeah, okay. Macbeth's trying to keep me in check, but <laughs> yeah, you you follow at like, you know, a, 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 enough of a distance away that it's not obvious that you're like, yeah, over thirty year old man following a little girl through town. <laughs> that wouldn't be great. <laughs> um, Macbeth is like the strict parent, and I'm like the one like it's gonna happen, like yeah. just letting you're, it happen. You're, you're the big brother. You egg her on. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So. Uh, you know, Stinky Pete, uh, he just kind of says, oh, so you guys, uh, you heard about the, uh, the old pink eye, huh? Yeah, yeah, we we saw about it, and, you know, people were freaking out, and then, you know, I walked up, and they freaked out more. You know, the typical stuff. He goes, oh, oh yeah, that'll do it. And what's that asshole's name? Jack or Jeff or Phil? Phil. Is that it? Phil? Of the future? Yeah, that sounds right. I, I, I think his name's Phil. Yeah, of course he's giving us a hard time, so. He goes, oh, jeez. Yeah, that guy's always giving me a hard time. Uh, he was around asking questions about that, uh, ooh, fake skull that you gave me last week. What do you mean? That thing was completely fake. Yeah, but, huh, fake. Okay, so. Uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, um, you know, don't worry about Phil. I mean, I'll handle him. Uh, you know, I'll talk to, I'll have a talk with Average Joe later, and uh, it's not going to be a problem. He, he won't hassle you guys. Okay, that's not, that, that sounds fair. I'm just giving our friend Scab a hard time, and you can see she was completely normal. I mean, there's nothing weird uh, about yeah, that. Yeah, totally normal little girl is what I saw. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so uh, who's this? Who's who? And he points at Alvara. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know uh, too much about this one, but uh, her outfit. Makes her cool in my book, I guess. He goes, uh huh, yeah, yeah. I noticed the outfit. <laughs> Licks his lips really creepily. <laughs> Wait, who me? Uh, <laughs> starts breathing real heavy. Oh yeah. That's just how he normally breathes. Well, he breathes heavy because he's a heavy man, you know. <laughs> yeah. Breathe and live heavy. <laughs> Why so, do I always so, get the creeps? Are you creeped out enough to walk away yet, or are we just gonna have to keep doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Take a little of that alcohol and just pour it across my chest. <laughs> Rub it slowly. He goes, "Yep, that takes that all the fun right out of that." Okay, back to business. What do you need? <laughs> he goes, "You know, uh." I don't know a lot about the red eye uh, or whatever, but um, I have a feeling that the Jackson boys are up to it. Yeah, pretty much any uh, 
pretty much any info that you could give us about it would be good. Uh, trying to make some extra money, pay off some debts, you know, the usual kind of stuff. Um, but you say the Jackson guys, right? No really. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's Anything uh, else? Well, uh, you know, it's a, like, it makes your eyes red, right? Mm. And uh, it doesn't, uh, it's not, uh, from what I know, this has happened in this town before, a long, long time ago. Back when the Jacksons were in charge, actually. And uh, one of them, his uh, left eye was just always red after that. It was permanent. And, uh, you know, uh, the juice from the eye is what spreads the disease. Mm, So he must have, like, squirted his eye into beer or something. I don't know. Fair enough. No, definitely not. You all had alcohol recently. Well, I mean, I probably did vomit, but not for that reason. Okay, got it. It's the crabs. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, he, uh, otherwise, Stinky Pete doesn't, um, you know, he's just guessing here. You can tell that. So, what what you're telling me, if there was someone that I had to beat half to death and interrogate, it would be the one of the Jackson guys with the partially red eye. Yeah, I think, uh, I think his name was Mo. Mo, okay. Mo Jackson. Sounds fair. Let me put that in my Palm Pilot. <laughs> All right. Oh God, I'm not in a Palm Pilot. I'll buy that for a hundred coins. <laughs> pull out I, I, the do look. I, I, I just wrecked uh, it. Can I speak to my lady? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cut over to Scab. Uh, so you're, as you're gathering that information, Scab just kind of like. Um, well, yeah, I guess, do you just run right up to her? Do you tail her for a little bit to see where she's going? What do you do? I tail her for a mm-hmm. little bit to see where she's going. Okay, she kind of, like, weaves through town, and uh, it doesn't take you too long to know that, like, she's taken a couple turns that, like, she could have, if she was just heading somewhere, she could have just went straight there. Like, she's obviously, like, she's either trying to throw somebody off her trail, or she's just going somewhere really convoluted. Um... I guess, uh, go ahead and roll, um, roll a weird to avoid, um, her noticing you. Yeah, you'll, okay. you'll, you'll kind of be doing just like, uh, well, we'll see, we'll see what comes up. All right, and that's your, uh, highlighted skill, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so mark an experience for that. Okay. I rolled my highlight skill. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Okay. Wait, did I roll weird? Not yet. Okay. Oh yeah, I, ro- I rolled. I rolled hot. You say you get an experience for rolling a, a highlighted skill. Yeah. Even if you fail. Uh yes. Okay. Good to know. Um. Okay. Yeah. All right. So um. Yeah, you're. She's uh. You don't do anything like expe- uh, especially cool. But uh, she she doesn't know that you're on her. Okay. And uh, before long, you actually see that she kind of comes up to that house that. Uh, you started at where oh, the oh. infected woman is and she kind of comes up and does a little tap on the window which you know this is just an open it's not a window it's an open hole in the wall okay. and uh <laughs> you know the lady comes over and like opens the shutters and you see you can see the red eyes from uh you know a little bit of a distance and uh they're muttering so you can i think if you open if you do weird again you'll open yourself up to the, the maelstrom and try okay. to Try to see if you can pick anything up that way, or you can approach, or, you know, it's up to you. I want to eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. Uh-huh, drop the eaves. There it is. Whoop. Uh, so go ahead and mark again. That's a W. Um, okay, so uh, you kind of, like, go into, like, ghost mode here, and you can hear a lot of voices, and really far away, you can hear uh, the howling of the wolves in the maelstrom that you know are still coming for you. Yep. Um, they don't know where you are, and you're not like giving yourself away or anything. It's just something that's always in the maelstrom whenever you listen. And uh, yeah. so you're listening. You can hear there's kind of like a little breeze that's like a little musical, and it brings the voices of the people over to you as they're talking. Mm-hmm. And uh, hold on, I'm writing for myself real quick here. Okay, so um, you know just from the maelstrom. 
uh, you know that the woman that you were following is named Barbara. And the woman she's talking to is named Shanna. And uh, Shanna's the infected woman. And um, they're just kind of talking, and uh, Barbara says, well, well, how serious is it? And she's kind of keeping her distance a little bit, like almost like she doesn't want to get too close. And Shanna says, uh, what did I say, Shanna? Shanna. Let me uh, draw some. Way too close to my name, dude. Uh, well, I was going to do Shauna, and I spelled it wrong. <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> so, uh, so Shanna says, uh, she's like, no, no, it's just, uh, you know, you, you have to ingest it. It's, it's nothing. You can't catch it from being near me. You know, you're, you're going to be fine. And she says, okay, well, uh, do, do you know, like, do you know how you got it? She goes, well, you know, I told the guards this morning that, uh, you know, last night I was at the tap house. That's the last thing I know, honestly. And do you do you just kind of stay listening, or do you want to move in? Well, I don't know. I feel like I got all the information I needed. Yeah, I mean, other than that, they just start talking about, like, well, what did your husband say when he saw those eyes and shit like that? So You know, Petey, he's messing around on me again. God damn it, Petey! <laughs> Can I do something now? Yes, and you didn't... If you want to. Yeah, you didn't. Uh, you didn't detect any of that. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna choose to approach Scab from the side, not from behind, so I don't startle her or anything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I like walk up with my hand out and like say, uh, "Do you recognize me from earlier?" I sniff your hand. <laughs> That's disturbing. For a moment, and I say yes. Well, you can't. Um, first of all, you can't solve all your problems with. A rock in life. Just some advice. Uh, <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, I've been seeing you staring at the horizon sometimes, and that's something I like. <laughs> Jesus. <God. laughs> no, um, <clears throat> podcast is over. I like that you like that. <laughs> hey, it's history. Uh, <laughs> introduce myself as. Ooh, I thought I was awkward. <laughs> um, and I'd propose okay. that we can be friends, along with, uh, ribeye, rib steak. Yep. Close enough. <clears throat> what do I you let say? you know that I'm scab, but Macbeth sounds way too bougie for me, so I'm gonna call you Mac. Mm -hmm. That's fine by me. <laughs> okay. Kylie. I All hope right. in, I, I really, I really hope in, uh, like right around, like, episode three or four of this you gain about like 80 pounds and then you go the whole episode and we don't even recognize that you're like super fat like in the third sunny in philadelphia with mac so are you going oh. with big mac on that <laughs> big mac for... big mac jeez oh, <laughs> oh. can i ask uh what did you hear from those ladies i'm curious yes so Um, I've heard that her eyes are just red. She doesn't have any other symptoms. She says the last thing she remembers was going to the tap house. The tap house, huh? I think we should all just go to the tap house. You guys are actually, the building you're hiding up against is the tap house. <laughs> Let's go to the tap house. <laughs> we're okay, the tap we're house. here. <laughs> <laughs> Made it. <laughs> so it's their alcohol, and by investigate... I mean, drink it all. Since you told me everything that the ladies were saying, I know that you can't catch it just from proximity, so I guess going to the tap house is okay if mm -hmm. I'm careful. Okay, and the door is, uh, I mean, obviously, like, the door's closed and locked. Um, it's got the notice stapled to the front door. Uh, probably not stapled, but it's stuck on there somehow. Um... Who's ripping yeah. this door off, breaking a window, or picking a lock? Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> no, I don't know. I'm not there. <laughs> he said it's locked? Yeah. It could be kicked down. It's <clears throat> not a good lock. Well, I don't want to damage the building, so first I try it, then I, freak, I notice it's locked, and then... And I then I throw I'm... a stone through the window. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not a glass window. Damn it. Your stone bounces off. <laughs> Not very effective. Can I just climb through the window? Uh, yeah, it's shuttered. 
but uh, they're only half shutters because I mean it's a business, so they you know even when it's closed, they, you want to be able to like see what's going on outside. So um, you're small enough that you can like worm your way in between the uh, the the top piece and the shutters. Okay. Uh, so you're inside, and it's just a it's like a slide lock, so you can unlock the door. I unlock the door. The door's unlocked. You defeated my door unlocking puzzle. <laughs> I let out um, a deep sigh and then cautiously uh, enter. Everybody levels up 16 times. <laughs> Everyone's like fucking uh, scared. So, um, oh yeah, what are uh, what is uh, Avara and Ripbone up to now? We'll we'll cut back to them. Well, I mean, I got some. Uh, you know, I was hanging out drinking alcohol, talking with my friend since uh, mm-hmm. he basically ran everyone else off. So, uh, I, I would need probably some some stimulus. I would need someone to be like, hey, uh, let's go do something else or to bring something up for me to be like, I mean, Ashley, I'm good right now. <laughs> um, I, I was just still there hanging out. I mean, I think it would be fun to adventure over where everybody else is. Mm-hmm. All right. Just kind of like, you just kind of say like, okay, dude, like. Uh, those guys have probably figured something out by now, so I think we should go like see what's yeah. up. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So you guys are kind of like heading on your way there. Um, so we'll cut back. Uh, so you guys are in the dark. Uh, well, Scab and Macbeth are in the unlit, emptied out, uh, formerly locked tap house, and uh, as you guys are kind of moving your way in, just kind of looking around. Um, there is a kind of like a large, uh, uh, it's not like a, it's, they don't have like a big barrel. They don't have a vat, but they have like this, this big, like kind of weird, it looks like maybe it was taken out of a water tower or something. Uh, kind of like a, it's like a big plastic container and that's where they get the uh, alcohol from. Uh-huh. Okay. It's like a really huge one of those, like sports drinks things that people will set up and put like a Gatorade cooler is that what you mean uh yeah with like like several little taps on the bottom and okay. it's like clearly custom made um and uh otherwise there are like the, the it's still set up from the night before which like pretty clearly they got shut down in the middle of operation um so you could go investigate like tables still have like glasses and things uh like half full uh, or at least people that didn't, you know, steal the glass. So, uh, you, I mean, you could look like behind the counter. There's like a, uh, a little lock box that they use as a register that you could check out. Um, yeah, basically anywhere that you think might be interesting. There's also a back room that's also closed and locked. I'm going to first, I look around the whole building that's accessible. Mm-hmm. Do I find anything interesting or? Uh, yeah, so like, um, there's there's five or six tables. This is actually one of the smaller buildings in town. It's not like a massive business like uh, the general store is or anything. Um, so there's there's not a lot of room. Most people don't stick around. They come, grab a drink, and head out. Um, so yeah, there's only like so we'll say there's only five tables. Most of those tables only have two chairs at them, and uh, there's still a couple drinks sitting around. Like I said, there's they're you know a quarter full or whatever. Uh, there's a few that have been knocked down, and there's an old stain. You can see it evaporated overnight uh, and into, I guess, a couple hours of, you know, sunlight today. Mm-hmm. Um, otherwise, you don't notice anything super uh, notable other than, you know, you see the lockbox clearly locked. You check the back door that leads into the back room, and that's locked. Um, and you see the giant Gatorade container. Okay. Uh, just back. A little bit of backstory. Mm-hmm. Or a little fun fact, I guess. Macbeth, my character, doesn't drink. Mm-hmm. I like to be uh, the designated driver, I guess, in all the situations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't really go into the tap that much, so that's why I'm kind of like, what's this place? It's uh, relatively new to you. Yeah, you've seen it, certainly, but you know you know what it is, but you haven't been in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm really interested in the back room. Mm-hmm. I'm like trying to shake the handle and trying to get in. I like. Uh, roll um. Roll hard. Nope. 
at the fill. Uh, you rattle the door a little bit, but um, you know, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Did I show up yet? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think you guys are just coming down the street towards them, and you can okay. see that the door's open, and you have an idea that the door probably shouldn't be open, so you know something's up. Uh, what's what's Scab doing? I'm sniffing the vat. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I... about just trying some. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I interrupt her. Please do not drink anything that you see. <laughs> oh, that's my style. That's funny. <laughs> Boy, but I do not drink it. Okay, do you get I some? Respect Mac. Do you get some out of the vat? I pour some into a glass and I just kind of look at it. Uh huh. Um, read. Uh, roll sharp to read the situation. All right, that was okay. So, um. Would anything under sniffing the air? Uh, no. No. Okay. Um, yeah, you get, uh, you know, you don't get any particular vibes off it. It doesn't smell infected. It doesn't look weird. It doesn't have, like, a fluid on top of it or anything. Um, uh, okay, so um, you, the other two, uh, get here and walk in. I'm gonna try to give. I'm gonna. Do I know anything about this? Like, I, I, I imagine I know quite a bit about this place, and I've spent my fair share of time here. You spent <clears> on <throat> one of the tables once. I mean, is there any, like, key that I could, that I had seen someone like go in and like, have I noticed them? Yeah, you've um, you you know that one of the owners has a key, um, and he. I mean, you don't know. He probably keeps it on him, so you don't know if there's like a hiding place or anything. Uh, that could be an opportunity to open yourself up to the maelstrom and do a re weird roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, go ahead. Uh huh. <laughs> well, give yourself an experience. Um. So you uh. You you kind of um yours uh, your version of you know, the maelstrom is a lot different. Uh, I think of um, Scabs was kind of almost like a ghost mode, like the detective mode, where it's just like the world is just like slightly different and it's easier to see what's going on now. Mm -hmm. It's almost uh, prettier. You're right. Yours is a lot more uh, like brutal. Um, as you kind of like, uh, it's like as you kind of zone out of reality, there's like a really heavy like drum line and there's like some some like some heavy like music in the background, and uh, that just kind of like fades in and gets stronger and louder. And uh, you can feel something like tugging on your face, and uh, like your your true face, uh, not your mask. And it just kind of like is pulling on your cheeks and like pulling on your eyelids, and it uh, just kind of like pulls your head forward, and then it like smacks you in the forehead. You just have no idea what happened. What does everyone else see? Just me get the shit, like, just getting the <laughs> you shit. You just kind of, like, your head, like, yeah. quickly leans forward and then gets smacked backward. And you're like, whoa! <clears throat> you take, like, a couple steps back like you got hit. Okay. And everybody's like, uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Swing a miss. Yep. I um, just chalk that up to you being typical you. Okay. Yeah. What I've seen before. Yeah, I think Alvaro's like, oh my god, this dude's drunk. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, you were there. <laughs> I'm gonna shake my head and walk away, kind of thing. Um, I start shaking and getting really uncomfortable because he told me he's one of the wolves. Okay, so and I you think he might be like doing something. The maelstrom. Uh, that's interesting. Um, you just kind of get like the hairs stand up on the back of your neck, and you're like, <laughs> you feel like something's close, and like a really distant screaming. You're like, oh, jeez, yes. guys. Um, so do you like? Do you drop the, the glass that you're holding? Yes, it shatters. Okay, and uh, so you drop the glass and it shatters, and everybody like quickly looks over to you, and uh, you kind of sheepishly reach under the counter and grab another glass. Uh, you just kind of like pull another glass out, and a lot of the glasses are upside down. Um, this one was facing up like you know, like a, a glass normally would be if you were using it. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you pull it out, there's a clink. And you look in the bottom of the glass and there's a key. <sighs> Ooh. 
I was going to roll for hard and try to do a cannonball through the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, now uh, I have the key, so we're not going to harm the building like Mac wants. Okay, so um, you go and take the key to the back door. Yes. Uh, you put it in. It, there's, like, actually a little padlock on here. And it's not high tech at all. I mean, it's about as bare bones as it can get. And uh, you stick the key in and twist, but it, it won't unlock. No. It, it doesn't turn at all. Could it be maybe that's for something else. Keyhole. Yeah. What, what did you say, Jay? Maybe that's for something else. Uh huh. Would I have any idea of like maybe I've seen someone use that before? No. Like, is I mean, the key you know anything key. specific? Uh, but to you, a key is a key. Oh, okay. And if it doesn't work, then your body cannonballing will do it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> this door is <laughs> uh, the worst. So, um, Macbeth remembers the uh, lockbox that was kind of under a counter. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, please hand me that key. I if say that no, key, I want to open it myself. If that key opens a box that has a key in it, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> All the right, key is the key to the key. On. Okay, you... uh. So, so Scab opens it? Because I refuse to give everyone, anyone else my shiny key, because it's my key and I found it. Uh, have you chewed on it yet? Probably. Maybe that's why it didn't work on the door. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, okay, so you, you put it in the, uh, the lockbox is, um, it, the lock's if built it... into it. What were you going to say? Say, please tell me that it opens the lockbox and, like, it's just not another thing where it's like wrong key <laughs> there's another lock hidden uh yeah so the the thing like just pops open what i was saying was uh the lock's just built directly into the box it's not um you know it doesn't have a padlock or something so um the, it kind of you hear it pop and then you open it up and uh you know there's some bills inside and uh there's a couple other things that there's also a scrap of paper at the bottom can Please scab uh can scab read english No. Do you let anybody else have the paper that you found? Reluctantly. Okay. And who do you hand it to? Ribbone. <laughs> Jesus, he can't or read. No, pretty girl. I read it flawlessly. <laughs> <laughs> In a British you accent. It, you hand it to Alvara. And uh, Alvara, you, you kind of look over it real quick and it's it's just like a little scrap of paper basically it was i mean not to say that there's like nice notebooks laying around so you know it's it's just like a, a worn out piece of kind of parchment paper it's just less and, burned uh, than the rest it, yeah the one corner is a little burned and uh it has written on it um it's dated uh from a couple days ago there's a date written in the corner i don't know what the dating is that you guys can figure that out but uh um it's you can it basically says like i don't know what day it is but it's basically says friday night leave the door unlocked oh. and uh is the door unlocked <laughs> uh no it's not what's so today it's, it's, i mean uh, i guess it i guess it'll be uh if that if it said friday did i say friday uh-huh yeah um yeah so it's it's saturday about lunchtime saturday now uh or no that's wrong it's lunchtime sunday now sorry so um <clears throat> and it's there's like a little signature it just has mj uh-huh mo jackson it's michael yeah. oh. i know him <laughs> i don't know anything else about him i, I know if i see him i want to torture him so but yeah, that's about you, it you, you guys can probably assume that it was probably mo uh curly and larry just wouldn't do something like this you know no yeah, what is he going eh? <laughs> <laughs> i've so, been uh, uh, it's, it's definitely starting to line up that, um, you know, Mo might have might have done something to, uh, you know, putrefy the drinks in here. Um, so yeah, are you you definitely are, is was that hard trying to go through? Was what? That hard roll trying you trying to go through the door? <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to you want to <laughs> roll it again since you rolled it way early? Yeah. That's not much better. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> the same. Okay, so I have a plus two. Fate has intervened on that one. So, 
Can uh, I try breaking through it? Can I do a cannonball through well, it? He hasn't little cannonballed little yet, so hold on. Okay. Uh, I think um, you're you're on the other side of the bar, so okay. uh, uh, Ribbone just goes here we go, and he like <laughs> runs and jumps up on the bar and like fully missiles towards the back door. And uh, Macbeth's like, "Oh my God, what are you doing?" And you just like slam into the door. The door doesn't even. Rack. And uh, Ribbone's taking a nap now on the ground. Okay. Cool. Do I try to imitate exactly what he did because I think he's cool. Can uh, uh, let me look at the child thing real quick. What when you shape shift, are you the same weight? It doesn't say. <laughs> You should shape shift. Yeah, like it's just your persona. I thought you could become a thick son of a bitch and just yeah smash that. Oh, let's. You I should shape shift gonna... into me, but be a better, better version of me. That would be hilarious. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think you're going to like use some shape shifting ability to try to make yourself dense, but we'll see if it works. So you go ahead and roll a a, a, a hard roll. <clears throat> I want to just bust through as we go. Well, yeah, I mean, you're just trying to make yourself dense. Um, okay, so that's a partial success. So um, I think you are able to, you go feet first. I think the problem was Ribbone went head first. Typical. Uh, that head's pretty thick, but not quite thick enough. Mm -hmm. uh, Scab goes feet first and is able to get some real hard knocker feet on the way in there. So uh, I'm sure we can all imagine what kind of feet I'm describing here. <laughs> Some kind of toe-like dagger. It just slices <laughs> through the door. <laughs> and uh, now it has a donkey door. Scab gets the uh, scab's feet bust through the door about midway up, and then Scab is left hanging like, <laughs> backwards from like the from the uh, uh, from the shin, like <laughs> halfway shin through the door. There's okay. a pile of bodies at the door. <laughs> we couldn't figure it out. What so I we just. I have a chainsaw. <laughs> yep. I own a chainsaw, <laughs> and I left it on the fucking bar to do a cannonball into the door. <laughs> you know, okay, so does somebody, life. Somebody get a pole scab out of there. Yeah, please, guys. I, I'll do. I'll pull you. Out. <laughs> fully unconscious. <laughs> okay. Uh. So. So. Uh. Somebody can reach in. I think Alvaro reaches in, and. Uh. You know. Well, actually, it was a padlock on the door, so this doesn't even help. <laughs> um, okay, let's have uh, let's have Alvaro just bust this door the rest of the way through. Now that it's been weakened, roll for it. So yeah, go ahead and roll it hard. <laughs> oh Jesus! Or actually, roll cool. Oh, sorry. That's Ignore too that late. One. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, she can roll cool now. I mean, yeah, roll cool. Roll cool. Okay. This is rigged. I'm giving you everything I can here. That was a, that's with a plus three. Yeah, that is with a plus three. <laughs> Jesus. What is, is your, this? Uh, is that your highlighted skill? No, my highlighted skill is, um, oh god, hot. Can you seduce the door down? No. It's a real dense oak. <laughs> I was going to say that earlier. Um, okay, so. Uh, Quality craftsmanship. Give yourself, <laughs> like, give yourself one uh, wound for that. You, you, like, punch the door the rest of the way open, but it cuts your arm off. Can I just eat the door? No. <laughs> I mean, now you can. Okay. Or uh, three harm, I guess. Whatever the first bubble is there. Yeah. This is like a raid boss. Yeah. <laughs> Our first boss like is a door. I was ready um, to bring my jeep out if I had to. He <laughs> just ran into the side of the building. I thought you were trying not to destroy it. We would have failed. So, well, I mean, at this point, you know. <laughs> this is uh, what we need to progress. I'll do okay, it. Okay, so, uh, so the door is, uh, it's been opened. At long um, last. At long last. The, Am I still like, unconscious? I think the, uh, What's the status? I think every part of the door is down except the handle <clears throat> is still like connected to the wall and closed. It, are the hinges still there? Like when we're done here, can we can we close the door over and people will be like, what the fuck? You can, like, lift it up, but there's a massive hole in the middle. Okay. Um, okay, so, uh, as you go in the back, it's, like, very dark. But, um, it's, there's enough light coming through the massive hole where the door used to be that you can see. And, um, there's, like, several, uh, there's, like, a lot of little bottled, um, you know, bottled alcohol to sell. Um, there's, uh, you see, like, 
a little um you know the little uh thing that the that comes with the eyedropper in it there's like a hundred of those just like layered on these shelves uh, okay. little little vials with with eyedropper applicators and uh it just inherently like feels wrong that those are there and uh actually uh also in this back room is a hogtied very scared man with like uh like cloth shoved in his mouth so he can't make any noise <laughs> and, uh, saw all that. He, he's like very <laughs> very nervous and uh, he's and once he realizes that it's only a giant dude with a leather mask and a little weird kid, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit just got real. Can I go kick him? What the fuck? <laughs> this is normal. I mean, just... Does somebody let her go kick this guy? I do. I'll encourage it a little bit. Jesus. <laughs> if I just get within like, his pockets, I mean. <laughs> are you kicking to hurt or are you kicking to explore? Just to see what he does. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, he's like extremely scared. There's like tears in his eyes. Like, he has no idea what's going on. This dude is just like, I mean, like, there's a little bit of like a puddle around him, and you're not sure if it was there before. <laughs> so okay, that's all I got. Anyone else want to do something? Jesus. <laughs> it's just rope, dude. You can just pull it off. Okay. Can we look and then he can run away. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we like that seems reckless. Out of his mouth and like, Let him can speak. I like try to like manipulate him to give us like some information on what happened? Okay, yeah, and I think you have to try to calm him down too because he's gonna start screaming. Yeah. So, um, oh, I mean, okay. obviously you can just take the cloth, but go ahead and roll hot to uh, and give yourself experience for that, and uh, you see if you can chill him out. Better than last time, hopefully here. Okay. Yep. Um. Okay, so you pull the cloth out of his mouth and you you. Are able to calm him down enough um i mean he's still panicking but he's not like calling for the cops or anything um so he is uh um, i guess what do you say to him now i mean you don't have to calm him down he is calmed down so what do you say after that like i'm just gonna ask him like how did how did you get here what happened basically what led to this right now do i recognize um, actually, him? uh now that the cloth is out of his mouth i mean he was kind of like cured the bottom half of his face was obscured by it now that it's off, you notice that it's Rusty, who's already afraid of Scab. <laughs> oh, Rattlesnake Rusty! Yeah, it's Rattlesnake um... Rusty. Um, he's called Rattlesnake because, actually, he runs the Rattlesnake Tap House. Uh, so, so he's the owner? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, he's he's a bartender. I think uh, somebody else, um, somebody on the council of the town actually uh, owns the place, but they don't, uh, they don't really work there. Um just have Rusty do it, because, I mean, you know, he's a rusty little guy, he can handle it. Um, so yeah, he, uh, he's just like, oh, oh my god, uh, uh, where'd that, where'd that girl go? He can't, he can't see Scab from where he's, uh, positioned, hogtied on the ground. I just yell, hello, I'm over here! He's like, like oh! completely normal. <laughs> oh my god, get her away from me, somebody get her away from me. Does someone get me away from him? Can I distract him? I mean, am I more of a, like... You can, you can just mean, be like, oh, I got her, and just leave her where she is. Okay. Um, I got I'm it. Yeah, don't worry. What was that? Uh, I'm being entertained, so I'm just going to let Scab do whatever she wants. There, are you back <laughs> by the uh, by the door that everybody kicked in? Or I'm, are behind, you I'm behind everybody. Okay. In case this um, little guy decides to bolt. Well, I mean, he's still... Uh, oh, he's still tied up. Okay. feet are touching. Um, so he's like, uh, these, these guys, uh, I don't know what happened. I was back here. I was just getting ready for the night and these guys came in. It was, it was, it's been a whole day. I've been locked in here and these guys came in and they, they tied me up and they hit me over the head and it wasn't in that order. And, uh, you know, they, I, I, they had these things, they had these, like, these like medicine things and they were, they put some in the beer. I don't know what's going on. I, it, I, I'm not part of this. You guys have to help me out. Did did he recognize any of them? Uh, he goes he goes. Well, I, I didn't really see anybody. I mean, you know, they they hit me and then I saw like legs, and you know I saw them messing with the beer, but I you know I couldn't see any face. It was it was dark back here, and you know I, I couldn't really look up very well. So I step forward and ask him. Uh, we might have found an incriminating note in your lockbox. What's that all about, buddy? 
he goes lockbox i don't i don't do the lockbox you know this uh you know i don't even own this place everybody knows that that chad's the real owner <gasps> don't shoot chad chad's a dick <laughs> even i know chad's a dick but you guys also know that chad's almost never seen in this place chad actually doesn't drink it's not good for his health i bet chad's friends with phil I mean, okay. Phil does. I mean, you know, Chad's in, in charge of the police force, of course. Right. Boat lickers. <laughs> Boat shoe lickers. I think I want to try manipulating because I haven't tried that yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go ahead and roll hot. I think uh, you're less going for like pushing your boobs up a little bit and more just kind of <laughs> going for like a. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe whatever he's saying. I'm trying to get the truth out of him. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So you can uh, you can just ask him straight up. Um, ask him a question. Actually, isn't there a list of these? Let me look. Uh, what did he roll for? Somebody make music. Yeah, it's not, not that. <laughs> That's all I got, man. Um, okay, so you can ask. You, you get specific questions usually. So, um, okay. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, just ask him. Um, ask him a, a specific question. So you can say like. Uh, I don't believe you. I think that you were involved in this, and then he's gonna have to be—he's uh, gonna have to be honest about it. Okay. Did you roll correctly. Oh wait. Well, okay. you rolled, yeah. Yeah. I'll ask him. I'll ask him directly. Are you working with the Jacksons to Five. poison the town, to yeah, disease the town? He goes. He goes. What? No, 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 no. I'm not working with the Jacksons. I hate the Jacksons. The Jacksons is what made me all rusty. <laughs> and you believe him um now he may have you know he may have left the the back door open or you know he may have had something to do with it but he doesn't he didn't knowingly work with the jacksons at least like any helpful thing he did is because he's lazy right basically he's just incompetent <laughs> okay <clears throat> i think we put it all together i mean mm-hmm all the pieces are there. I don't want to be the one to say it, though. <laughs> so he might be... He might have been used by the Jacksons. He's kind of helped them, but in, not on purpose, maybe. I mean, honestly, he's like Michael Jackson, you know? His, <laughs> his talents were used to, you know, further the group when really he was the only one that was really loved. So I decide he... he's not a threat <laughs> to any of us right now, so I, I'll untie him. Okay, does anybody, try to, does anybody try to stop? No. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> I mean, you know, letting Scab eat this gentleman would be helpful for her, but yeah. mm, I'm not hungry. <laughs> just thinking yeah, ahead. That the key is gone. He's the conspiracy theorist. I mean, of the town that's always on. You know, like there's something wrong with that. You know, that kid running around. Okay, so you uh, unhog tie Rusty, and he goes, "Oh my gosh, I, I have to tell you, I'm I'm really thankful to you guys. Even that uh, that little thing. Sorry about your door, friend." He goes, "Uh, what, well, why was this place all locked up? Do you guys know?" Doors are hard off. He has no idea about the red eye thing. Should we Ooh, tell it to him? The cops are in on it because they're the ones who shut the place down and they didn't even check to see if that guy was hogtied. Dun, dun, dee. Well, I, since he's not our enemy, I guess we need to tell him. Yeah. Not, don't drink anything. You'll get a disease. Don't go into around people with red eyes. That's the basics that you need to know. He goes, oh, man, red eye, huh? You know, that there was a bout of red eye mm, about 10 years back. 
Back when yeah. the Jacksons were in charge. That was a Jackson thing, yeah. He goes, actually, I think, uh, doesn't one of those Jackson boys actually have a permanently red eye? Uh huh. That's what I heard. Dusty Mo. Dusty Mo Jackson red eye. <laughs> He has a lot of names. Uh-huh. That guy's really coming together. Okay, so he goes, you know, uh, you guys could just let Rusty know if you need any more help around this town. I'm going to real quick go change a new pair of pants. But, uh, you know, I don't, especially with, uh, you know, this town can't really handle infection. So I, I don't think this place can be open anytime soon. I'm going to be free. Uh, you know, if you have any uh, paying jobs, let me know about it. Because uh, I feel like I've been laid off. And I'm going to actually, I might be having a word with Chad. <coughs> Does anybody stop him? Do we need to dump all this open alcohol into the ground so people don't drink it up? Wait, you say he's going to have a word with Chad? Yeah. Yeah, that means well, he's, prob mean, he's prob probably... Well, he's probably going to alert Chad to the information we know. Yeah. They could possibly warn Mo. So, anyone else? We're eating him now? Or what are we doing? Jesus. <laughs> I'll eat him now. Can we convince him not to go to Chad? Yeah, somebody, uh... Somebody roll hot. <laughs> I almost clicked. I was real close. <laughs> oh, buddy. He does not like Gav approaching him. <laughs> yeah. So he goes, you get back, you little son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, me next. Oh, oh my god, I did it! Holy oh, shit! <laughs> He did something for once. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, I think Ribbone puts his hand on Gab's shoulder and kind of kind of pulls him back, and just kind of like looks, kind of like hunches down a little bit so you can look up into into Rusty's eyes. You go. I might not want to do that, bud. And he goes. Uh, okay. Well. Can you guys go talk to Chad for me? Because, you know, I'm going to need at least Friday night's pay. Plus, you know, I was tied up all day. And, you know, really, this is a workplace hazard. Uh, so can you guys get some, see if you can see if you can get a couple days of pay for me? And that's like, your bone, say. I feel like if I go and see Chad. Uh... Michael Murray. <laughs> Someone else is gonna have to take the lead because I mean most of it ends with me trying to get Scab to eat somebody. That's true. That's like I wouldn't eat his money though. Like I'd make sure this guy got his pay. Right? No, he would get his pay for sure. But I mean, yeah. how we go about that is. You also don't want to be like run out with like pitchforks and shit. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like I'm right on the edge right now. Anyway. <laughs> so I'll just come back with a different mask. Like Stinky Pete alone is. Uh, kind of giving you a pass to be in this town, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, they don't have to know he died. I mean, yeah, Rusty's just going to go home at this point. Uh, he's he's had a hell of a couple days here. Um, so he kind of wanders off, and you can tell which direction you smell for, you know, quite a distance. <laughs> um, Wait, he actually has a house? Because I imagine he just worked and then just well, I mean, he lives somewhere. I don't know if it's a house. Oh, okay. Because I imagine he was just the crazy guy that hung around the tree in the middle of the town yelling random things at passerbys. Mm -hmm. Well, I bet he has, like, a corner. He's not a prostitute. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, anything? I guess it happens, how much you pay him. Yeah, exactly. $20 is $20. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Definitely true. Um, okay, so, uh... So I hear Chad's name, and I remember a time uh -huh. insulted my shoes. I don't care about my shoes, but I just don't like people insulting my shoes, so I hate you have, Chad. You I wear thought shoes. you were barefoot. I wear shoes sometimes when I'm in my form. Do you just wear them around your neck like a necklace? <laughs> like no, a, like a telephone line. Normal. Okay. I had a good vision there, but I guess not. Oh, because you can materialize clothes when you change. That's disgusting. Correct. Do the clothes feel like clothes? Or do they feel like flesh if somebody touches them? It feels like flesh if somebody touches them. It's technically skin. Yeah. Neat. Ugh. Okay. 
Um, so I also hate Chad. Well, every most people do. Yeah, What's I mean, Chad's Chad? just hateable, you know? He's got one of those heads. One of the faces that you just want to deliver one of these to. Uh-huh. I'm it sure looks like face. it hasn't been punched, <laughs> and that's a major problem. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, are you guys going to... Um, I guess you guys can kind of plan amongst yourselves, like, what, what's your next step here? First of all, where does Chad live? Um, he has a, a, a kind of like a upstairs apartment, um, kind of in town. It's a, pretty close to where they meet to um it's actually attached it's on one side of the general stores where like the town council meets which is average joe and a couple other people uh is that kind of in the center like south like the right yeah south central okay and um actually let me write that down for myself here it's also the courthouse and uh i I think chad actually lives directly above uh, the building next to the courthouse which is the police station, which, you know, in this town is like, there's three guards, but, uh, you know, they still have a station, I guess. Okay. It basically has an office, and then in the back there's like five jail cells that are all empty. So he lives above the police station? Right. Well, nothing to do left here. What do you guys say? Go interrogate again? Sure. Can I eat some glasses and be on our way? Jesus. Well, there's, the a broken, there's a broken glass so you can pick up and chew on some broken glass. Okay. Get your protein in for the day. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, all right, so you guys are planning to head over to Chad's? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you guys uh, walk out with scabs like nomin on some glass. There's like a very disturbing crunch you can hear. What um, are your teeth made of? Glass. <laughs> well, I mean, now. Yeah. Diamonds. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. <laughs> the weird things, yeah, I is, wonder. Uh, so as you guys are walking out, um, you, you come out of the front. Uh, do you try to fix the door to the back room at all? Or do you just leave it? No, it's, it's long gone. I try to take <laughs> it with me. Oh, my God. The splinters uh, and everything. Okay. Um... I don't. I think the back door was uh, a little too wide to fit out the front door, <laughs> because I don't want you to have like a door as a shield. <laughs> Just two people carrying them. Like lift your end up long way. Um, We're making have, this more complicated than it needs to be. Do you have a? Uh, what's your equipment? What's your gear? Um, I have a um, I have a chainsaw, uh-huh. and. Than just my armor, and I think that's all I have. Do you want to fashion the door like as a piece of armor? I mean, I could take part of it with me. Like, uh, like, did it have like a handle with like a um, like a back plate for the handle? Yeah, you could do that. I could bend it into a bracelet or something. Okay, that'll work. Fair enough. Um, okay, so you you kind of like wrap it around. It's like a bit of a bracelet, you know little piece of your arm and it's, it's not going to like add to your armor or anything but it's definitely something that i can potentially have somebody hit on um <clears throat> okay so like right as you guys are walking um who else would come around the bend but you see guardsman phil dragging rusty by his arm no. and he's coming towards uh the tap house rattlesnake rusty's all right, and, uh, I, I might I, he, I might interfere with that one. I mean, he's looking at Rusty and like talking to him, so he hasn't noticed you guys yet. You could duck back in, you could sprint, you could uh, you know what's up to you, what you want to do. Can I read the situation to see if he's gonna hurt Rusty? Yeah, go ahead. That's a good idea. It's a uh, sharp. Yep. I was just gonna dunk him in a vat of whatever that stuff is. Jesus. Um. Okay, so, I mean, it, it, he's, like, squeezing Rusty's arm pretty hard, but it's not, like, he's not trying to hurt him. He just doesn't want him to run away. Okay. Um, anybody else? Um, I mean, I'm not sure really what I could do. My read the situation is negative one. Do you want to do, do you want to do your weird and see if your has an idea for this? Sure. It does not. God damn it. 
Um, okay, you feel it. You just feel it like tugging your face uh, toward um, Bill, and you don't. You can't really get a read on what it's trying to say. It's just like telling you to do something. I'd like to approach uh, Phil and ask him, uh, "What's the issue here? What's going okay, do on?" You, do you like? Um, do you like signal for the others to hide, or do they stay out, or what? Uh, what, what do you guys want to do? I'm not gonna make somebody do something. I'm gonna hang out at the bar, and put up the vibe, you know. I'll because be in you're bar. just like standing back by the open door. Yeah. <laughs> okay, scab. Um, I'm still knocking on glass. They're just standing there, like not worried. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have a feeling he's going to be pretty bummed that we broke the door and everything if he yes. finds us. Phil's so. the shit ass guard. Did he see Scab transform or was that the other guy? That was the other guy. Phil has okay. no idea what that dude was talking about. That dude actually got put on mandatory leave because he's probably sick. <laughs> just talking about kids like transforming and shit. It's weird. Um, what does Alvara do? I'm gonna hang around just in case like something comes up and I need to like start mm -hmm. being seducive. Okay. Or manipulative, you know. Seducive. To get okay. Um, Is that on word? Probably. Seductive. Seductive. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that one. <laughs> um, okay, so what does what does uh, Macbeth say? I approach Phil and I go, "What's the issue here? Why are you strong arming this guy?" He goes, "Well, I mean, I am the police, so I can do whatever I want in this town." And uh, actually, I should be asking you guys, what are you doing here? That, that This place is supposed to be locked up. Mind your business. Can I throw a stone at him? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you better... Um, uh, what was the role I had you do for that? I think it was hard. Yeah, roll, roll hard. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you lob it at him. Uh, it does, uh, it normally does two damage, right? Yes. Um, so yeah, you throw it at him and it does one harm to him. And, uh, I think it hits him, like, in the shoulder. So in that, it kind of twists him around and he lets go of, uh, Phil. Or no, he is Phil. He lets go of Rusty. And, uh, I think Rusty makes a break for it. Like, he definitely okay. does not trust the police. Good man. Uh, Okay. Uh, so we're into it now, so, um... Wait, did he even see where it came from? Because she was in the bar, it just... A rock came flying out of a dark, like, bar. Yeah, he, I think when he gets hit, he kind of yelps like a dog. It could have been anyone in here, <laughs> it's just us. <laughs> yeah. So, um, actually, uh... Macbeth, if you wanted to sucker him, um... That would be the last move that anybody could make before combat's actually started. How do uh, I do that, that? That would be a hard roll. Well, I don't know, because I don't have a huge issue with the police at this moment. Oh. Well, you know this guy's a dick, though. Yeah, I mean, it's getting it there. I mean, you're I a strong handle and rusty. I don't have a good hard roll, though. That's what I'm... <clears throat> Alright, well, I guess... Uh, since he, I, I can tell that he's about to start getting aggressive. Mm-hmm. Well, and does anybody want to um, assist him on that? Sure. I don't know. That's plus two. My hard rolls are terrible. Every single one I've missed, and I have plus two on it. What's your history with Macbeth, Ribbon? Um, uh, I have a move that I could have used. I totally missed out. What's that? Daredevil. If you go straight into danger without hedging your bets, get plus one armor. Is that something I can use? Okay, yeah, you'll you'll have the plus one armor, so remember that. Okay. Um, yeah, my history with him is plus two. He spotted me some cash at a bar, so um, okay. You know, that'll I spoke push. up and went on with went on a trip with him. Yeah, that'll push that five up to a seven. Um, so that'll be you using that plus two in history. So uh, make that zero. Make the history with him zero. Yeah. Like just change it. Right. Okay. So you gave him that plus two. Uh, basically, okay. that was just a long-term hold that you could use to help or hurt at any time. Um, so that makes that a seven. So uh, I think you – so he gets pushed 
uh, back and to the left from the the rock hitting him on the shoulder. And as he kind of like swings, uh, you you kind of get a right hook in to the side of his jaw, and you do another harm to him. And uh, he just kind of like flips and falls down. And then on his he goes next because I mean he's you know he's a cop he knows something's going on here so he he uses his turn to uh, get up and he moves within you know hand to hand range of Macbeth and he also pulls out a uh, kind of like a short club <laughs> but uh, he's because of that sucker punch he's not able to uh, use it yet so it is going to be Ribbone's turn. Uh, why'd you say me? <laughs> why why me? Because. <laughs> Well, actually, you know what? You're right. Uh, it's gonna be um, <laughs> it's gonna be Alvaro's turn because she was actually ready to do something. If she it's, had to. it's it's not gonna be pretty with me though. <laughs> so Alvaro, go ahead. So, what? I'm... You can. Um... You're just basically deciding what you're doing against this guy that was yeah, being addicted to uh... rattlesnake. Okay, so you're about to go aggro. So. Uh... You can roll cool instead of hard. I was say, can I go cool some, do something cool under fire? Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and roll it. All right. Yeah. And what are you gonna do? I think you're um. So you're behind Macbeth, but you're the only other one that's like fully in the alleyway. Yeah. I I I, I guess I kind of want to set it up. What's around? I mean, Rusty oh, ran off. Um, I mean, yeah, the are there people kinda... starting to gather? The bar opens onto, like, a little back street. Um, so there's not any, like, front doors anywhere, but there's a few windows uh, on on your on the other side opposite the bar. Um, and then it's kind of like a long alleyway each way. And then it's uh, out on the one end is actually where, uh, you know, the house is where the infected woman is. And then out on the other end, the town kind of thins out that way. So there's, like, some abandoned buildings. Mm-hmm. Um out of the, the, I guess that would be on the north side. So um, there's nobody has really come around yet, except, I mean, it's possible that Rusty is going to be like screaming as he runs. So uh, some people might be attracted to that, but there's nobody, there's no well, witnesses yet. That would be a distraction. So yeah, that's true. Um, I mean, could we pull him into the bar? Uh, it would but be do we something want that. Do interrogate him or do we want to kill him? I mean, um, uh, yeah, there's a lot of options here. <laughs> It's up to Alvaro. Yeah. Can we, can, can we pull him away to like not make us? Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. With that. that with that roll, definitely roll. Um. Roll uh hard as well. Just like keep him under control. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So you oh. grab onto him, and uh, you you just kind of like I think you come around the side of Macbeth and kind of kick off the wall a little bit and like wrap your arms around him to try to like hold on to him and uh, around uh, Phil and he's able to like break out of that but in the process he drops that cudgel and um, I think the other two are running up behind you so uh, Ribbone gets the idea that everybody's trying to like hold on to this guy so I think the chainsaw is not out yet yeah that might still be on the bar to be fair That's true. when so I cannonball into the door um, Are you doing cannibal, the, the cop? <laughs> no, I think I'm just going to try to uh, basically just get him in a headlock and control him. Okay, so roll uh, plus hard on that. Come on, you son of a bitch. There it is. Yes. Yeah. So you get him in the headlock, and I think um, Alvaro is like helping on this. So you get him into like a full headlock, and uh, you're able to drag him toward the door. He's not in the building yet. But he's over there, and he's actually going to contest that. So scab, um, like how long? Con- <laughs> how long can he stay conscious with a? It'll he'll be able to make it through a turn. Cutting off this one, okay. Yeah. I can. I can. <laughs> how so? Yes. In the balls. Got it. Ooh. Roll on that. That's going to be plus cool. Okay. <laughs> This is this is the one you need to win. Yes. <laughs> get one of them. You got you got one. You almost you got him one. right in the right one. <laughs> you have the only one he has left. <laughs> and uh, he goes, "All righty." And uh, can I yell like my boot? Do you have boots on? 
No, I don't. Little rain glasses. Uh, okay, so you just like nail him, and this dude is like, he's down for the count, so he's he's not gonna be able to contest that. So you guys drag him in, and uh, remember, this door is not uh, broken. So yeah, do you guys close the door behind you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think Macbeth's the last one in, and he closes, and you hear the uh, slide lock of the door, and that's what we're gonna call it for tonight. So I have a I have a list of um, psycho uh, quotes from Borderlands too. Uh huh. And I like every time every time my character does something, I always come over here and just look to see what I could possibly say. And the instance of when I had him in a headlock, I saw the one I'm gonna choke and stroke your lifeless body. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, and earlier when I was talking to him, what was it? Um, where, where did it go? I'm gonna floss my teeth with your face. Oh my god! <laughs> my favorite, I think, is I'm gonna drop kick your baby. Yeah, oh. gonna... <laughs> that's what Scab's gonna do. It's time for the meat puppet. Yeah. Oh okay, so um, <laughs> yeah, so you guys, you guys drag him in and close the door and slide the bolt, and uh, so we'll, we'll come back for. I guess episode two for that. Awesome. We did have a few people mention some stuff in the chat, so thanks for hanging out, guys. Um, go check out yeah. episode one, of course. Uh, just kind of a little cool more backstory. Yeah, it gets really... I think it gets really fun about halfway through uh, after we kind of start establishing how the characters know each other and stuff like that after we get done with all the numbers. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I look forward to technically episode three. Um, yeah, maybe in the meantime we can do like uh, like we can figure out like origin stuff for the characters to talk about it a bit more after we get our um, after we get our like I think um, I don't think Ashley has a bio yet, but yeah, I do want to do um, kind of like some at some point there's going to be some like flashbacks. Um, so I, I, I'm going to kind of try to pepper those through as certain things come up. Um, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I awesome. guess, uh, everybody, thanks for watching, uh, that stopped in, um, yep. as uh, always, it's... seeing how I can rip these down and split them up into some videos for YouTube. Right. And if you guys get the chance, uh, go, uh, give digital dungeons a like on Twitter. Don't forget to follow us here on twitch.tv and then look up pretty much mammoth games inc everywhere i mean twitter yep. facebook um we have like daily news our podcasts and stuff like that where we talk about this a bit and more so all the likes comments and shares are appreciated but cool Definitely. until next time